begin manual calibration, you will need to remove the top panel on the BL4SSL. Next thing, enable system hydraulics while also engaging hydraulics to the rotor. Be sure not to touch any other functions during the calibration process. Next, bring your machine to idle. For this specific example, we are going to use two people for calibration. However, you can do the calibration process alone. You will just need to press the sonic calibration button and enter the cab while observing all safety protocols for the carrier and the attachment. Once the machine is idle, you will want to raise the attachment high enough off the ground where it doesn't sling debris, but not so high where it could be a safety issue. Make sure no one is standing in front of, beside, or behind the unit. Press and hold the calibration button until the light comes on. Once the light comes on, you will throttle the engine all the way up and engage high-flow hydraulics. The Sonic will cycle through three phases. First is max pressure, next is max flow, and lastly is men displacement. Once the rotor slows down, calibration is complete. Turn off high flow hydraulics and leave your carrier at idle. Once the rotor stops spinning, reattach the cover and you're ready to work. Last thing, even though we used a BL4 SSL to demonstrate how to manually calibrate your sonic mulcher, these same steps are applicable for all FAE skid steer attachments with sonic technology. 